So the device is called Prima. Uh, it's a pretty cool idea. So it it's a tiny little solar panel chip, about two millimeters by two millimeters. So it's really very small. And there's if you look if you look at it, you'll see all these little hex grids on it. These little hex tiles. Each one of those hex tiles is an is a photodiode and an electrode. So what we do is you implant this under the retina in the back of the eye where the rods and cones have degenerated and the patient wears glasses that have a laser projector on them. And the laser projector projects the scene with laser energy onto the implant in the back of the eye. And wherever the laser energy is absorbed, it stimulates. And wherever there's darkness in the scene, then it doesn't. And so this is a cool idea because there's no implanted battery. There's no wires. There's no PCBs. There's no electronics other than this tiny little chip because you send it both energy and information simultaneously in the laser pulse. And so this is like, it's tough to imagine how you would do this more simply than this. And when you look at past devices, so like a little over a decade ago, there was a company called Second Sight right. that had a retinal stimulator that is probably what people is would be most famous when people think about retinal prostheses. So it worked very differently than the, than our, the Science Prima implant. First of all, it targeted a different layer of cells. It targeted the optic nerve rather than the bipolar cells, um, which are just much harder to stimulate naturalistically in this way. And the second is because it wasn't, it, it was a conventional electrical implant, you had this big titanium box attached to the side of the eye. You had cables going in through, through the eyeball to power it. Um, this was a four and a half hour surgery. Um, being able to just put this little two by two millimeter chip of silicon fully wirelessly under the eye with a little inserter tool is a totally different game. And it's, and the clinical trial results, I think really speak for themselves. 